Hi, this is Kelly from Kelly's Corner, and today we're going to be talking about how music can feed our energy. I first started playing the flute in fourth grade and played all through high school. I played the piccolo in marching band. I transitioned to singing in our church choir and would occasionally play the flute uh, during special services. About 20 years ago, I joined a contemporary choir, uh, so that typically has uh, more modern music. It usually includes drums and often guitar, so that was a very different approach to doing church music um, and, and probably one of my most fulfilling parts uh, of my life. I find that particularly singing in a, a small group and sometimes in a larger, more traditional choir still, you become part of something bigger than yourself, right? You're part of an ensemble or a larger choir, and that is a great feeling. And it, in this case, it, it often uh, ties in with my faith and how I worship. But the music itself is what transcends whatever it is I'm doing. So, I mean, I could be having a good day or a bad day, and just being part of the music is relaxing and energizing. So I think music, like many of the arts, is a way to practice mindfulness and a relaxation technique. Uh, and that can be playing music, creating music, or listening to music. Anything that causes you to be more mindful of that one activity in the moment uh, much like we talked about gardening last month, and also things like creating art of any kind. So the reason why it can help with being um, in the present is that you, you have to attend to what you're doing. Uh, you have to follow the music, you have to listen to other people in the group, and you have a bigger purpose. And so that helps you sort of put everything else that's going on in your life aside and you can focus and, and sort of has a, a grounding quality to it. It's a way to sort of get lost in what you're doing, um, which is another way to, to relax, to sort of unplug from the daily obligations that we have, and a way to recharge. Uh, this past year, my daughter, who's in fourth grade, had an opportunity to start an instrument, and she chose the trumpet. Um, my name is Julia, and I play the trumpet. And about four months ago, asked if we could play together, which I thought was really cool. Um, and uh, we had a friend of ours who did some transposing for us so we could play some music together. And we've been doing that on occasion. Um, we do also have a set of drums, and neither of us really play very well. Uh, but it's a way for us to engage in something creative together and it blows off some steam and we have a really good time doing it. I liked music, but I was never really into playing it except for the drums. But when I really got into trumpet, it really, um, I really liked the music and when I finally accomplished a song, it just made me feel really good deep inside my heart. It's not like competitive and you don't have to try your hardest. It's just try what you can and if you can accomplish it, that's amazing. If you can't, you can keep trying until you accomplish it and it's just for fun mostly, not very for not very competitive. It's just a lot of fun to play even if you never liked it. It can take your mind off of certain things like homework stress, tests, and other things that are hard for you and you can really relate to other people so then you have something in common with them so then you can build more friends and it just is a win-win for everybody.
To support Greater Lynn Senior Services and see more videos like these, please consider making a donation at the link below and subscribe to our channel.